course he's excited. I mean, especially, I mean, <laughs> you know, how, how would you like to go from Alcatraz to, um, to freedom in one day? I mean, <laughs> you know, of, <laughs> of course he's excited. That's like saying like, you know, when I was fat, I liked, you know, I, I was a little bit excited about calzones and pizza and other uh, good food. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I mean, look, this is, this is great for him. I mean, he, he, we all realize that Mac Jones in a talent competition is not going to blow anybody away. Um, just like I, I wouldn't say Tom Brady does. I wouldn't say uh, Joe Burrow does not to say that he's on the same level as those guys, but you know, those guys are great because their coaches realize what they do well. And that a big part of that is their minds and figuring out like, deciphering what the defense is going to do, where the weaknesses are going to be, you know, getting if they need to move a guy from one side to the other to take advantage of the defense. Like that's what Mac Jones is really good at that. That gets him that gets his juices flowing, gets him excited about the game. What went on here last year was a complete regression from that. And even though we did see it a little bit more at the end of the season when he played his best ball uh, of the year. So I think that, he's gonna he's i know he's excited uh the guys on offense are excited they're getting back i mean even a guy like david andrews who another guy who you know isn't the most talented guy in the world but is really smart and really tough and they took away what he did best and it was just beyond stupid it was like i still can't believe he, we'll talk about this for years to come but just like just the complete pointlessness of what the Patriots did this past season and all Billy O'Brien coming back allows everybody to use all of their tools. And, and that's what the Patriots need to do. Cause they're never, I don't care if it's defense or offense or whatever, the Patriots are never going to blow you out of the way with talent. They need to win with their smarts, with their toughness, with their situational football. Last year was a regression in that regard. So far, Billy O'Brien is a good step to getting back towards that. And I think it, it is a fantastic step for Mac Jones, but I, I don't think this is the end all be all. I, I don't think Bill O'Brien comes in here and all of a sudden he fixes everything. And I still want to impress upon people that Mac Jones needs support in other ways, right? He, it would be great to go out there and get a true legit number one wide receiver. Unless you think Jacoby Myers is that guy. We think Myers as great as he's been. He has limitations. So do you go out there and, and get that true number one? Is that guy available? What does this team do at offensive tackle? Is Trent Brown back? Isaiah Wynn is obviously gone. Uh, we would hope that they draft at least one, if not two guys at the OT position. So what's this old line look like at the tackles? Uh, also, you know, Tyquan Thornton, how does he develop? Does he develop into a guy with a full off season and training camp that can be trusted and run the right routes? There's a lot of different questions about this offense. Max still needs the support and the tools and the weapons to utilize. I mean, I'm not going to go too far down the road of Brock Purdy because I think some of the, some of the hyperbole is getting completely out of control. He's a great yeah. story and give him all the credit in the world, but look at what he has at his disposal. I mean, it's, it's easier to, you know, get those stats and win those games when you've got so much yak because you've got Debo and Brandon Ayuk and George Kittle and run CMC and, and the best left tackle in the game and a good offensive line. Like no matter what, you know, Joe Burrow, he still needs, you know, Jamar Chase and T Higgins. So, you know, will Mac get some of those weapons? I think the offense is, is good as far as skill position wise, but it could be better. And will they support him more than just saying, oh, Bill O'Brien's going to fix everything? Check out Screen Time, movie streaming, and everything in between with us, Gary Tangway and Drew Yada. We watch what you watch, so watch us wherever you get your podcasts. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, and we're pretty easy on the eye. Yeah, no, we're not. Speak for yourself. Screen Time, movie streaming, and everything in between. 